as you are aware, everybody that's sitting in this room wasn't the people that have put the, the city in the, the situation that you are. And what you have to do is look at yourselves as how are we going to move this city from a reactionary to a proactive system moving forward, should that be what you want to do. And I think most communities now are in that form of maintenance <coughs> proactive versus reactionary. Now there are going to be times in which you may have to do uh, react reactionary things, but as long as you're planning and have a plan on what needs to be done at the, the, the facility. Is, is from the house to the plant is the collection system. So it is, you know, if you have a grinder pump, it's going to the grinder pump and pumping to the force main, which the force main will bring it to the plant. Or if you're on a gravity type system, it's the your service lateral going to the main that eventually goes to the <coughs> pump station. So that is your collection system. Short term is you have a, a mixed system with gravity and low pressure sewer. And those types of systems are, you know, especially the grinders take a lot of maintenance. And I think you guys are uh, experiencing that quite a bit right now due to the age of the system. Uh, if you look at this, the plant was built in uh, 1985. Uh, and there's a couple things that you should be, one, I think if you look at it, is the plant itself, capacity-wise, is still in great shape. Uh, the plant was designed for like 0 0.482 million gallons per day, and you're currently at, uh, on average, about a 0.28 million gallons per day. So you're sitting in good good shape as far as capacity of that. Performance-wise, I think it was uh, 0 0.482. 0 0.472. 0.472. Yeah, and I think on average we have, I think it's like around, 0.28, uh, give or take. So when we look at that capacity-wise for good performance-wise, overall, you know, the plant is doing really well. Uh, there are some things that we're going to find some deficiency in the plant that, you know, the primary clarifiers are not operational as designed. There is a secondary clarifier that is not operational. The other thing that we believe they needs to be kind of as part of the first things is a mechanical screen to get a lot of the uh, debris and solids uh, that won't get treated in the, the plant itself out of it, out of the stream as quickly as possible. And that would be uh, a mechanical screen and compactor. Uh, the pump stations, there are, I believe we have 11 pump stations, and with that, they're in various stages of need, need immediate attention to, over time, you will need to take things uh, in place, uh, those repairs on that. Uh, some of the, the pump stations themselves are at or above capacity, and, you know, part of that is it may be some of the force mains are undersized, and the flows coming into some of those areas need to uh, get taken care of. Uh, phase one, uh, which I think was originally estimated at 4.4 million, 4 .4 4 million. Um, has been broken down into two parts. Um, uh, and, and there's a few reasons for that. Uh, we'll, we'll call what, what we're going to be looking at uh, phase 1A and phase 1B. Um, the, the phase 1A is what we're looking at uh, about 1.7 million. Um, one of the things that we're going to do uh, starting immediately and we're actually going to be asking the board if, if I remember correctly um, for authorization to do this is go ahead and uh, authorize um, Bonham Mountain to uh, apply to get us into the state revolving loan fund. Um, that that is a good source of low interest dollars if, if we can qualify and if we can um, get loans through that. 
the opportunity that we've got here is with phase 1A, uh, I feel like we can do that. We, we're liquid enough that we can do that and pay for it outright uh, with uh, federal dollars uh, that, that's coming our way with, as well as with, um, with some retained earnings. Um, one of the things, that, and Michelle, sort of correct me if I'm wrong, I, I'm kind of parroting you here. Um, state revolving loan fund uh, tends to look favorably on projects like uh, pump station repairs and upgrades. And the wastewater treatment plants. What, what the state likes to do with those dollars is if there is a community out there that, you know, you guys are- Like us. <laughs> Like you, I know there's other communities that I'm working for that the the plants themselves may have been neglected for periods of time and you may get notice of violations that we have discussed in the past. When you have those types of notice of violations, those sometimes allow you to score extra points, which gets you to closer to the top of the funding range within these programs that are out there. So my goal tomorrow is to have the conversations and you know come back to you within a week or so of where you would kind of stance at. One of the things that where we're at on this is tip, the typical funding cycle is that we send in a letter of request and then fill out some questionnaires in January and February they come back and then rank all of the, the various programs and then there's a list that comes out typically August, September uh, of where you score. So you're kind of sitting there, well, we're not in the right area. Well, kind of we are, because if we look at where we're at right now, we would not, we're, we're six months out before we would even consider bidding this project. So there's some design time in there uh, so you would make that funding cycle and depending upon where we would fit we might be able to get some additional funding uh, for, the, for the project or we just move forward uh, and wait to phase B, you know, part B. Uh, in addition to this, this facility plan is, you know, projecting you out 20 years. We're going to try to identify these programs with the state and saying, hey, we want to do this in this year, we want to come back maybe five years later and do this other program so that you're sitting in a place that they're not forgetting about you and that there's potential dollars out there uh, for you. Obviously, $4.4 .4 million uh, project uh, we could not fund uh, at this time. Uh, we would have to take on debt. Uh, in conversations uh, with Kingsport, uh, those, those conversations are, are still ongoing. They, they are uh, still very friendly. Um, but the, the likelihood of regionalization uh, is it's looking less likely. Um, if, uh, I feel like if we were to take on debt, because we, we have very little now, uh, 300 plus, um, if we were to take on more debt, that takes regionalization off the table. Um, so I, I think that uh, phase 1A uh, is, uh, I've described it as a uh, small and significant step towards where we need to be. Um, it, it identifies uh, and addresses uh, some major deficiencies uh, we can start to move to execute that pretty quickly um, and while we're executing that uh, we, we start mapping uh, the path for 1B. Uh, in addition to that, uh, I'm sure else will interest rates are, are, are great right now. Uh, you know, there, there's opportunity that we could get an extremely low interest rate. Um, while, while we're executing uh, 1A, uh, that allows us to put put the things in place. Um, to now, phase 1A would be what gets us out of the violations. 
have mostly we're we're still gonna have some um but the main ones like the screens and the the, the screen at the head works uh, um, things of that nature uh we'll we'll be following up i think uh, as quickly as possible with 1d um, yeah. uh, as soon as we can make you know a smart financial um, decision on how to execute uh likewise you know they give us an opportunity to look at funding and my general thought is, you know, in 18 months, when, when we start looking at going forward with 1B, um, 18 is a spitball timeline, um, but 18 months, two years, uh, we're looking at, at 1B, then, you know, if, if we can score a sub 1% uh, financing deal or, or loan note on, on this project, it, it's conceivable that we, we would want to fold 1B in with uh, 2 and, and bite off a bigger chunk at that time. Uh, TDEC has been given a copy of this. Um, I, I think they will look favorably on receiving this. Um, uh, staff recommendation um, is uh, that uh, I'll ask for a motion uh, to Going uh, forward with uh, go, going forward with the state revolving loan, uh, if you're trying to join that. Uh, additionally, I, I would ask for a, a motion uh, to go ahead and give them the the nod to go ahead with 1A. Uh, the items in 1A as well as 1B are, are all things that we're going to have to do. Just to get in compliance. Just, just to move into compliance. Um, so, I, and, and to be clear, the, this is a motion to cover both. Yes. Um, state revolving loan and 1A. Yes. Okay. Alderman Mindy Fleshauer. Yes. Alderman John Gibson. Yes. Alderman Jim Gill. Yep. Alderman Stephen McLean. Yes. Alderman Darby Patrick. Yes. Vice Mayor Teresa Ma. Yes. Mayor Pat Stillwell. Yes. 